Well, Andrew McCutcheon talk. How about it? Andrew McCutcheon talk on a Pittsburgh branded outlet. I didn't expect it either. Well, why, you ask? Well, you already know this. It's out there in the news. It's public knowledge now. No surprise. No breaking news here. Andrew McCutcheon signing a three-year, $50 million deal with the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay here and come back to Pennsylvania, but go cross the state to Philadelphia, leaving the Yankees after that playoff appearance and kind of weird tenure, and then which just didn't work out in San Francisco before that after the trade from Pittsburgh. And it's also not even a criticism of McCutcheon. You guys aren't even trying to make fun of uh, a long-gone McCutcheon to say he's not good anymore. He's no longer an MVP guy, but he's still a productive player. Everyone seems to realize that. But um, here, on this edition of Mike Drop on Pittsburgh Sports Live, coming at you from the Beaver County Auto Studios up above Market Square here in downtown Pittsburgh, I'm Mike Oste, your host, and uh, I'm perplexed. I'm confused by the Pittsburgh fan, and I'm familiar with them, have been for years, since my youth, and then professionally, that not often do you guys surprise me, even when you're throwing out the hot takes. I usually expect them. I expect the take of Tomlin will will be fired with one missed playoff appearance or should be fired after four straight 10-plus win seasons, and I threw that out there for you on another show that you can find on Pittsburgh Sports Live by doing this, clicking on the subscribe button on Pittsburgh Sports Live. But I expected that, even when it's ridiculous. Same thing with many of your others. But this one really has confused me and caught me off guard because once the news hit the ticker that Andrew McCutcheon signed a three-year deal, $50 million, got his, maybe more money than many of us and I would have expected in the open market for McCutcheon after an up-and-down year last year. After him signing with the Philadelphia Phillies, your first reaction, or, or many of you, I don't want to paint with that Tomlin broad brush, but many of your first reaction when articles like this popped up and news hit social media, and it'll be hot stove, Phillies agree to sign outfield Andy McCutcheon, three-year deal. Then you see him there with his pirate pirate jersey on, thanking the fans, throwing up the 22, the Bucko 22, with his name on the back. When that hit the wire, many of the pirate fans' first reaction was to not be mad at him. You understood he just wants to get his money and took the best deal for him. Fine, you're being reasonable there. Happy about that. Not even to say that he's not good anymore because he's productive, even though he's not an MVP anymore and his decline is there, but he's his decline's better than most, better than the average player for sure, even though he's no longer an MVP type of guy. But it's to say just upset and be upset just in general, not at him, just, just in general, kind of, oh, I didn't want him to go to Philadelphia. How could he go to Philadelphia? It'd be like him going to the Reds or a division rival. Just St. Louis can't have him going to those teams, but your group in Philadelphia in that Philadelphia. Oh, I just I can't have that. Or you saw a tweet like this and put this together quickly, so I didn't get many of these. But just oh, Philadelphia Phillies signing Andrew McCutcheon is great for them. It'll be very interesting when they play the way play the Pittsburgh Pirates now. From uh, some tweeter called Grady, probably not a pirate guy, but just in general, people believing this. So whether pirate fans or, or just in general. Just believing this, that, oh, man, he's going to, to play for Philadelphia. How? Just crazy. I can't, I just can't believe it's happening. Just Philadelphia, it's a rival. How could he possibly play for Philadelphia? I hate it. And then I people bringing up Maxim Talbot, leaving the Penguins, going to the Flyers, Yager playing for the Penguins, then signing with the Flyers, and, and Mike Wallace, former Steeler, playing for the Baltimore Ravens, and those just off the top of my head. But it's happened throughout history former Pittsburgh greats going to a rival team. It happened throughout it's happened throughout sports history. John Damon winning a World Series with the Yankees and then winning or winning one with the Red Sox, then winning one with the Yankees years later. And I'm sure those fans were mad and then maybe deservingly so. Even though they just went to the best situation for them and it is a business. But I don't get this one. Again, you're not mad at McCutcheon, I'll give you that. You realize it's the best deal for him, you got to take it. But 
You just don't want him to play for a Philadelphia team. That's what I'm getting from a lot of Pirate fans. You don't want him to play for a Philadelphia team. You don't want him to play for the Reds. You don't want him to play for the Cardinals. You wouldn't want him to play for the Cubs. They're rivals of the Pirates. I get not wanting to have a former favorite player of yours play for those teams. Fine. But why would you not want him to play for the Philadelphia Phillies? Guys, the Pirates and Phillies are not rivals at all. At all. And this goes to my tweet. I don't normally promote myself, but here's me. And it, it, it perfectly summarizes this. So that's why I decided to, to select myself as the tweet to put it on as a graphic on this show. And I quote myself, Why am I seeing Pirates fans upset about Kutch signing with the Phillies? The Pirates and Phillies don't have an active Penguins-Flyers-type rivalry. This isn't the 1970s. This isn't the 70s. There's no current Pittsburgh and Philadelphia rivalry in baseball or even football. And it's true. Why would anybody... I'm not saying this is the majority like the Tomlin take, but even the minority who's loud in my direction, why would anybody, I'll say this, I'll generalize now, why would anybody care if Andrew McCutcheon plays for Philadelphia team, plays for the Philadelphia Phillies in Major League Baseball? This isn't at all like him playing for the Flyers if he was a Penguin or playing for the Ravens if he was a Steeler. That's a rivalry. But it's also not like him playing for the Eagles if he was a Steeler. Because the Steelers and Eagles are in two separate conferences. They never played for a championship. There's not much history between them, except for, I know, 70 years ago when they were the Steagles. But there's no current rivalry between the Steelers and the Eagles. The cities may not like each other, but they play in exhibitions every now and then. They play in the preseason. Very rarely do they play in the regular season. Hasn't happened for a few years. There's no rivalry between the Steelers and Eagles fans. I have Eagle fans friends, several of them. They don't care what the Steelers do. They don't like Pittsburgh. They don't necessarily want a Pittsburgh championship, but they're not going to lose sleep over, over what the Steelers do and their every move and every whim like they would with the Penguins. They hate the Penguins much more than they would hate the Steelers because the Penguins are a division rival. There's been playoff series with the Penguins. There's been stars swapping with the Penguins. There's been brutal hits. There's been brutal moments. There's been history there. There's key moments in that sport between the Penguins and Flyers. And right now and in the past, and you could certainly argue throughout history, it's one of the best rivalries in hockey history, in NHL history. And it's actively brewing. Recent playoff series, the, the, the outdoor game, between the two teams, now multiple. Recent playoff series, Yager's decision, Talbot playing for both. Going all the way back to Mario and having to get over the Flyers hump who, dom who dominated the 80s and how rough those series were and the brutal hits and Broad Street bullies kind of still acting like that now. And maybe even a little brother syndrome for Philadelphia because they haven't won a championship since 1975 despite being in several Stanley Cup finals and the Penguins with all their Stanley Cup final appearances and then Stanley Cup crowns since then and in, in recent memory. And Flyers fans hating Crosby, something fierce for sure. That's a rivalry. Makes sense. Penguins, Flyers, that's a rivalry. Makes sense. I get why you wouldn't want to have a Penguin play for the Flyers, even if it's the best deal for him. Even if you understand the business. I get why you'd be turned off as a sports fan to have your favorite Penguin play for the Flyers. I don't get a Steeler to the Eagles. No, that really isn't a big deal, although maybe I'd get it a little bit more than this. But the one I really don't get is McCutcheon playing for the Phillies, and you have a problem with that? You don't want to see? Oh, I don't want to see him play for a Philadelphia team. Guys, it doesn't matter. In the 1970s, I know sports history. In the 1970s, there was a rivalry between the Pirates and Phillies, and it, regardless of whether they're playing in the playoffs or not, there was a rivalry because they were two of the best teams in the National League. They had Hall of Famers galore, and they were competing for World Series crowns or NL pennants every year. Two of the best teams of the decade. So it was similar to the, the Penguins-Blackhawks type thing, where at least they're both successful, and they want a jaw to see who's the better team in the National League of the decade. And the Pirates got that over... 
the Phillies, and in a way, the Phillies didn't really get going until the early 80s with the 83 championship and 80 NL pennant, and the Reds were like the Pirates. Maybe that was even a better rivalry in the 70s, but there was a rivalry between the Pirates out of Pittsburgh and the Phillies out of Philadelphia in the 70s and then even into the 1980s, for sure. So the 70s and 80s, Pirates, Phillies, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, I'll get it if we were back then, if we are in the Wayback Machine. But not now. There's no recent playoff series. There's no recent success swapping between the two jawing for anything. The Pirates had three playoff appearances during the McCutcheon era. 20-plus years of losing seasons mixed in there in my lifetime. The Phillies have the 08 World Series Championship, 09 pennant, and then the 1993 NL pennant and World Series loss. And they also had a lot of mediocrity in the mix there. But they never really were worrying about each other. There hasn't been a a Pittsburgh-Philadelphia baseball rivalry in decades. Hasn't been one in decades. The Pirates and Phillies mean nothing to each other, and there is no rivalry between the Pirates and Phillies. Doesn't exist. Not currently active. Hasn't been so in recent memory. Throughout history, maybe. But not now. So the whole take of caring that Andrew McCutcheon's playing for a Philadelphia team or that now he's a member of the Phillies? Why? You shouldn't. It's no big deal. There's just no current rivalry between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia in baseball. None in football either? Yes, absolutely. There's one, if not one of the best in all of sports, certainly in that league between the Penguins and Flyers. But as I'll throw my tweet up there one more time and quote myself again, why am I seeing Pirates fans upset about Cut signing with the Phillies? The Pirates and Phillies don't have an active Penguins-Flyers-type rivalry. This isn't, the, this isn't the 70s. There's no current Pittsburgh and Philadelphia rivalry in baseball or even football. And it's just true, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, throughout history, 70s and 80s, okay. It wasn't a big one, but there was one. Penguins and Flyers, yeah. One of the best rivalries in sports. You all know about it. And Steelers and Eagles, there's not one either. But there's just, I, I don't get any reason why to care if McCutcheon plays for the Phillies, if they win a World Series with him. Be happy for the guy, is what I would be, and many of you probably should. But even if not, it wouldn't be like him going to the Reds or Cubs or Cardinals. That They're direct rivals. Astros, even though they've switched leagues. and Or Milwaukee. I, I get that. I would get that even though I, I understand the business as a media member and I wouldn't hate him, but I, I would get that if he was on those teams as a fan of Pittsburgh, but not the Phillies. There's just no rivalry between the Pirates and Phillies, and there's no big deal. The McCutcheon's now Philly, and nobody out there, so anybody out there who is, and it's a minority, but they exist, no one. I, I read the tweets. You had brought it to my attention. It, it's no big deal. No big deal. I even seen colleagues and friends. It shouldn't be a bad day for you. It shouldn't be doomsday. There shouldn't be a team you didn't want him to play for. There's no rivalry between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia in baseball. Congrats to McCutcheon, though. Getting paid, getting that straight cash homie. McCutcheon, three years, $50 million. Signing with the Philadelphia Phillies, and he's still certainly a great, a good player. He may be even a great, depending on how hot he gets, and he can give you that at spurts. Probably not all-star. Not an MVP by any means. Not one of the best players in the league by any means. There's a, a dip from his pirate heyday but still very, very productive and a great signing with the Philadelphia Phillies. Give them a veteran presence, a team on the rise, maybe a team that should have been better than they were last year, even though they started off a surprise and people didn't expect them to be great. They they kind of faltered towards the end, but maybe they could jumpstart things again. He certainly will help that team. So great for him, a great spot. I think it's a perfect marriage between the two, between the two and maybe could even lead to a, to a trade of their out, outfield worth, but who they have there and, and their young guns. But Pirates could even have brought him back for that money, to be honest. But I still, it, it's a lot of cash, and they save some money. But not a former MVP anymore, but absolutely a productive player and a great signing by the Phillies, but no big deal. Former Pirate, great, probably in the Pirates Hall of Fame someday. Not in, not in baseball, but who knows, though, with Harold, Harold Baines being elected. But former MVP, 
appreciate him for what he was and what he did for you, Pittsburgh, but don't care that he's on the Philadelphia team. It's just like when he went to the Giants or the Yankees. They're not rivals of yours. It's no big deal. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh don't have a baseball rivalry, and Andrew McCutcheon, being a member of the Philadelphia Phillies, shouldn't be anything that bothers you, pisses you off, gives you angst. You shouldn't care. It's the same thing of him when he was traded to the Giants, traded to the Yankees, same thing. Him wearing wearing the Yankee cap, him donning a giant jersey, same thing as as Andrew McCutcheon now, now playing for the Philadelphia Phillies. No big deal. This isn't Penguins Flyers. It's not Penguins Flyers. There's no Pittsburgh, Philadelphia current baseball rivalry, and there hasn't been one for decades, neither in football, too. So it's not just a citywide thing. It's Penguins, Flyers, that makes sense, but I, I, who cares that he's now a Philly? That, that shouldn't be a reaction that you have, and I saw many of those that, okay, he's on the Phillies, got his money, big deal at Philadelphia. It's not like the Reds, Cubs, or Cardinals by any means. Andrew McCutcheon got paid, and um, congrats to him. As he now will try to conquer for Philadelphia. And that, again, Philadelphia, go ahead. Philadelphia baseball, Pittsburgh baseball, there's just nothing there. So McCutcheon got his, and uh, I got mine, at least over you guys yet again. Another game, set, match, victory for uh, Mike Oste here over the Pittsburgh fan. Make sure to click subscribe. On our YouTube channel, make it easier for us to get this content to you. Make sure to follow our family of networks, Pittsburgh Sports Now, Pittsburgh Soccer Now, Pittsburgh Hockey Now, and even a future site to pop up soon here for some foreshadowing. I am Mike Osti, conquering sports radio. Oh, and and this, where this site, where everything will live, pghsportslive.com. One day at a time.